Hello everyone, welcome to... Game Freak, yes, no, welcome to... Retro Redux. Where today we're playing... Pokemon! Pokemon! Pokemon? Pokemon? Pokemon, Leaf Green version. It's not an ordinary Pokemon run though. It's gonna be Nuzlocke. Which you can probably already have guessed by the layout. This shit's one of those fancy Pokemon Nuzlocke layouts. <laughs> Controls. Various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. Moves the main character. Well, you know that is the most important. Also, use the choose various data headings. Use to confirm a choice. Check things. Check scroll text. Use to access whatever the fuck. I don't even give a shit. I already know it's Pokemon. Who doesn't know Pokemon? In a world. <laughs> In a world. Come on, man. This is in a world in which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Alright. There's Professor Oak! Look at him! Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak! The Pokemon Professor, you little shit! Well, people feel affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor! This world is inhabited by far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. How the fuck do I earn the money? I don't even know. But first, let me tell you a bit about myself. I don't know how he's gonna tell me, but I'm gonna tell you. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm fucking, come on, man. Really? Let's begin with your name. What is it? You know, I'm just gonna go old fashioned with my uh, little little twist. MB, no. A little twist to my real actual name. There's my real name. And now there's the twist. There we go. Right, so your name is Marcus? Yes. No, f the fuck off, please. Let me play. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. What's his name now? Well, I know what his name is. His name is... I know what his name is going to be. That's his name. Yes. Hey, was it Jimmy? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name is Jimmy. How the fuck do I forget? Marcus, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. The fuck, Oak? A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Look at me. Look at this Marcus plate with the NES. Okay, it's time to go. That's, that's how old this game is. NES shit. Man. This is gonna be great. Look at that mom. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. It, fuck. I have a mother. That fucking believes everything that's on TV. Great. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Awesome. Alright, well, let's go to Professor Oak then, I guess. Since he's been looking for me. And you know, the professor is looking for me, he talks about nothing. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait, don't go out. Shut the fuck. Please. It's unsafe. Why Pokemon live in tall grass? You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. No. I don't want to come with a professor that is going to take me into his home, which is probably... End okay, no. There, there, are three, there are three other people. And, and his grandson, so hey, rape is out of the question here. Rape is out of the question here. The Gramps, I'm fed up with what? No, you know what? He's gonna be Chris. I should have called him Chris. For Christopher Walken. Oh, whatever. He's gonna be Christopher Walken now. Gramps, I'm fed up with Wayne and. Jimmy, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just fucking hell. <laughs> oh, shit. Must you feel as a grandson if your fucking grandpa keeps forgetting 
everything that he does to you, yet he, yet he remembers everything about just the rival of his, of his grandson. That's so insane and stupid. Here, Marcus, there are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one, go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair, what about me? Be patient, Jimmy, you can have one too. After I choose it. Okay, so, in true fashion, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw this, uh, oh, shoot out now. I'm gonna see what I can throw here. Oh, hey, I have a die. I'm just gonna throw a die. Alright. I have to unplug a lot of this shit that I put on my die. Miss, can I? Alright. Yes. Yes. No. Maybe. No. Apparently not. This, this die does not want to work with me. Nope, I only made it worse. I only made it worse. Fantastic. It's... Can I just get get this out of here? Just get every little fucking shit that I put around this die away. Gone. Out off of this die. Oh, it just stays on. It just stays on. I'm, I'm doing whatever I can, but it just keeps stuck. What the fuck? Products. Okay, yes. Only one left. Here we go. I can almost... I can feel... I can feel the die throwing capabilities. Yes, there we go. Okay. So, over here we have Bulbasaur. Yay! Nope, fuck off. Over here we have Squirtle, a great Pokemon also. And over here we have Charmander, the most overrated f favorite Pokemon ever. Okay. So, I have this die here. I'm gonna throw it. If it lands on one and two, it's gonna be Bulbasaur. If it lands on three and four, it's gonna be Squirtle. And if it lands on 5 and 6, well, then it's gonna be Charmander. Let's see. And what is my- Oh! Whoop! Oh, we're going with Bulbasaur! Okay! Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Marcus received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Fuck. Do you want to give a nickname to this Bulbasaur? Why yes I do, actually. Why yes I do. Let's see, what are we gonna what are we gonna name him? What are we gonna just okay uh, Oh E No, let's start over. K Y U B E L Cubal. Yes. Cubal. Perfect. Whatever. I'm just gonna choose Charmander. I'll take this one, man. Jimmy received the Charmander from Professor Oak. You gotta put the googly eyes on him so that he feels comfortable with his Pokemon. If I want if a wild Pokemon to be a fuck, Christ. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. You fuck off. Wait, Marcus, let's check out the Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Mmm. Gonna fight with the Pokemon. Can you just imagine Christopher Walken playing Pokemon? It'll be insane. Well, he sent out Charmander and I sent out um, Cubal the Bulbasaur. No. No. I have had a Pokemon battle before. I, I know what a Pokemon battle is, man. Come on. Come on. You don't have to fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Yes, thank you. I will try battling and see for myself. So, in true Nuzlocke fashion, I'm gonna explain the rules here. Uh, Nuzlocke. Basically, your Pokemon cannot die. If your Pokemon faints even once, you have to release it and, well, act as if it actually has died. Also, in terms of catching Pokemon, you can only catch the first Pokemon that you see on a route. Now, there are some extra rules to that, whether, like, you find a duplicate, you don't have to. Am I really gonna die to this fucking Charmander? No. Like, for instance, if you uh, find a Rattata, 
in the first route, and you catch it, and you find a Rattata in the next route, and you're like, well, what the fuck? You have to catch it again, because now you have two rat Rattatas. There are extra rules to that, where you have no duplicates, which means that you can keep looking until you find a Pokemon that you don't already have caught. So, that's the rule that I'm going to apply, because I don't feel like having a team of 10 Rattatas. Cubicle to level 6. Great. Player Jimmy. What? What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! No, you didn't. You'll find out later that you didn't. Asshole. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow! Well, fuck off, Oak! Okay, Omega Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Marcus Grams, smell you later! That's actually something that I can see Christopher Balkan say. Smell you later! Yep, totally. Well, Pelotown, hooray! The town that Ash came from. Anyways, uh, continuing the rules. Uh, look, look! I copy what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. And then we slowly walked away from her. So, uh, first Pokemon that you find in a route is the one that you have to catch. If you don't catch it. Well, you don't have any Pokemon from that route, because you cannot catch the second Pokemon, the third Pokemon, or any Pokemon after the first one that you find. Of course, this is my first Pokemon that I find in as a Pidgey, but since I don't have any Pokeballs yet, the rules have not set in yet. I've set it myself up for the rule that the Nuzlocke rules don't apply yet until I've gotten Pokeballs. Once I get Pokeballs, it's the point that I can catch Pokemon, and that's the point where the Nuzlocke challenge really starts. Now in the bottom right of the screen, you can see what route I am, and for what I am going right now. In the bottom you can see how many badges I have once I get to actual said badges. And on the right of the screen, you can see which Pokemon I have in my team. I'm not gonna show off every single Pokemon that I have in my box either, too, because that's that's gonna be ridiculous. Now, this is not the first Nuzlocke I've ever done. I have done Nuzlocke before, but I've kinda done it a little bit cheap in a cheap way. Like, for instance, I've done two Nuzlocke so far, which is an Emerald Nuzlocke and a Fire Red Nuzlocke, actually. So this is kind of replaying my Nuzlocke. The thing is, though, in that Nuzlocke of both those games that I did, I, I cheated quite a bit with extra rules. For instance, there was an extra rule where I made it so that every Pokemon had one extra chance. And that can make the Nuzlocke challenge so much easier. There are some people that do uh, Nuzlocke runs without like without the without the ability to heal inside of a battle and I just like that's insane hey you came from Pelotown well yes I did you know Professor Oak right his order came in can I get it to take can I get you to take it to him sure I'll go grab this parcel and give it to Oak for that will give me pokeballs and these pokeballs is what I need to catch my Pokemon and hopefully I don't get shitty Pokemon in this run. Although, knowing my luck, I probably will. I probably will. Also, there are also going to be a lot of uh, changes to levels all of a sudden between episodes, maybe. Because I'll be, gr I, I will be grinding in this. Because without grinding, you can't really go far without losing Pokemon. Well, Pidgey appeared. Go Cubal. Well, if I can keep finding Pidgeys, that will be actually really good. Alright, that missed. It's awesome. Still, like I said, Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke rules still haven't caught up yet. Now, uh, doing, these, doing this Nuzlocke challenge is gonna be pretty challenging. Because, well, first of all, like I said, oh, I've, I learned Leech Heat. Leech Heat is actually very good for a Nuzlocke run. What I wanted to say, though, is that, um,. I'm hoping for no shitty Pokemon. This is going to be challenging for me since all my Nuzlocke runs so far has, have been kind of cheaty. So, let's see what Pokemon Professor Oak gives me. Oh, Marcus, how is my own Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Marcus delivered Oak's parcel. Yep. Ah, it's the custom Pokemon. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Alright. Oh, oh, I just. 
Professor Walken. Okay. Alright, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex! It automatically records data in Pokemon you've already seen or caught. I guess that's how he earns his money, because literally fucking everyone in the Pokemon universe uses a Pokedex. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Marcus and Jimmy, take these with you. Alright. Guess I'll just go see if I can find all the Pokemon. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And now the Nuzlocke like will start. Alright. When a wild Pokemon appears to fair game, just throw a Pokeball and try to catch it. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, 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 I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. Get, catch all the Pokemon. Kinda impossible in a Nuzlocke run. Kinda very much impossible. Now, since this is a Nuzlocke run and you can lose Pokemon since you have to release them upon their death, yes, that does mean that I can actually lose this game. And once I do lose all my Pokemon, it's over. When that does happen though, I will probably just start a different Nuzlocke, a different Pokemon game that either predates this one or maybe it's after this one. Okay, so what do I get? It's a Pidgey! What level? Level 3! Great! That is actually pretty much, pretty much perfect. I will, however, have to use Tackle on him a couple of times. Let's see, okay, I can use Tackle one more time. Hope that I don't get a critical hit. Alright, awesome. And now I can catch my first Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 don't castle. Catch my first Pokemon, which is gonna be a pity. Come on. Let's do the, let's do the myth of AAA, pressing, pressing A and B simultaneously. There we go. I don't think it actually works, but yeah, whatever. Gotcha! Pidgey was caught! Pidgey's data was added to the Pokedex! A common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings under ground level to kick up blinding sand. It's pretty cool. Give a nickname to the captured Pidgey? Why, yes, indeed! Let's go for a D? Yes! Belkenti! Whatever. Look, the names of these Pokemon are gonna be very fucking random. I like to nickname by my Pokemon, though, because it's, it's, it's pretty fun to do. I, I like it a lot. Alright, and now comes the arduous uh, task of leveling my Pokemon. Hello there, Belkenti. I wanna go to the uh, Pokemon Center first, though. This just can get pretty dangerous. Alright. Also, oh, this is the first Rattata. Rattatas aren't as bad as people say they are. They really aren't. The first time that I did a Nuzlocke, I actually won with a Rattata, so... They really aren't that bad. Uh, now one thing I want to say about this Nuzlocke is I'm not going to show every single battle. I'm probably going to skip over most of the random battles, unless they're important. Or if it's a new Pokemon. And I want to get my opinions on them. Okay. So, this Rattata, yeah. R Rattatas aren't really that bad. They get pretty good moves later on, and when they evolve into Eradicate, which we'll probably see quite a lot later on, because the bad guys use them a lot. Really? Hello there, Rattata. Would you like to get your ass kicked by my Bulbasaur again? Please. Please do. And you missed. Of course you did. Okay. Yup. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yo. Ho. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Critical hits. My favorite. Fuck them. Really hard. Seriously. I don't like critical hits. Whatsoever. I don't like them at all. Alright. Hope to see you again. Just fucking... Like, why would you say that? Why it's so insensitive to say that? It's like, hey, I know your Pokemon just almost died, but hey. Hope to see you again now. Oh no, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Mm, what is that red box you have? Oh, uh -uh, so you might get on your Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, Pokedex automatically upsides daddy. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Yes, I do. I just did. I don't want you to show me how to catch your fucking Pokemon, you old prick. Yes, Wild Weedle. whoop de doo Oh, that's actually a Pokemon that, uh... uh <laughs> I don't know, I don't... I don't particularly enjoy Weedles. Right. There, don't tell me that was educational, was it not? No, it was not. And he'll take this too! 
obtain the teacher TV. Marcus put the teacher TV in the key items pocket. And if there is something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of Pokemon training. No. Go away, old man. Nobody fucking cares about you. Come on. Route 2. New Pokemon. Hopefully we get a good one. There's a big chance that we don't know, so let's keep let's get going and see what we can find. Another Pidgey. Well, that's a duplicate rule for you. Not gonna do this one. Just run away. Trying to think about it, I might actually want to put um, Belkenti in front, so I can train him a little bit or her. Let's see what we find. It's a Rattata of level four. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Well, let's not do that. Let's go to Bulbasaur. Maybe you can do some damage before uh, we catch him. A level four Rattata, though. That's pretty damn good. Really, that is pretty damn good. Okay, let's do a tackle. And the most that he's gonna do is six, because a critical hit actually does double the damage that he usually does. Ah, uh, okay, now he does. 12 if you, get, if you can get a critical hit off. At least that's what I think it does. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna catch him, hopefully. Rattata, let's go. And... He's caught. Nice. Nice. Love it. Oh, I couldn't read it. Too fast. Went too fast. I was too fast. Let's see, what are we gonna name him? What are we gonna name him? Finksert! Yes! Sure! Why the hell not Finksert? That is a lovely name for a Rattata. And now I am going to go grinding. Hooray! Grinding is so much fun. Well, I'm gonna go heal here. And I think that is the point where I go and end the episode because I, I need to start grinding. Take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Hope we see you again soon. Checking with more dead Pokemon. Okay, well. You will indeed see me around. But for now, I will go and see you guys in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a subscribe, leave an unsubscribe. Do whatever the fuck you want. Because you're a human, I'm a human. We're all assuming it. Or hey, maybe you're a Pidgey. Who knows? So, do as you please. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.